Hello students my name is Mithun I am from Vedanta Institute today we are going to conduct a comprehensive analysis of the junior engineer exam conducted by the staff selection commission first of all let's take a look at the various departments in which you will get posting if you are selected in the examination the first one is central water commission this is a very good job it's a delhi based job it's less hectic so if you are going to prepare for in the engineering services or in the civil services this is your best bet the next one is military engineering services as all of you will be knowing this is a highly prestigious job now the other departments are department of post department of quality assurance in the naval department and the central public works department now let's take a look at the pattern of the examination the examination will be conducted in two papers the first paper will be objective type that is it will be a multiple choice type question paper it will be for 200 marks and it will be having 200 questions which you have to attempt in a time duration of 2 hours it will be an online examination and it will be having three sections the first section is general intelligence and reasoning it will be coming for 50 marks the next one is general awareness section which will also be coming for 50 marks and the third section will be a technical section which will be coming for 100 marks for you it will be a mechanical engineering section now if you secure the required cutoff in the first paper you will be allowed to attempt the paper 2 examination which will be a written examination it will be for 300 marks and you will have to attempt the examination within two hours now let's take a look at the previous year cutoffs of the examination if you closely observe this bar graph you can see that the obc cutoff is nearly 10 marks lesser than the open category cutoffs and the SCST cutoff is nearly 20 marks lesser than the open category cutoff in all the years and also the cutoffs are gradually increasing year by year now let's take a look at the open category cutoff for the last few years the light blue line represents the section which is relevant to you that is the electrical mechanical engineering section now let's take a look at the previous year cutoff of the electrical mechanical section if you analyze this line graph carefully you can see that in 2012 the cutoff was 90.5 whereas in 2013 it increased by 10 marks to 100.75 by 2014 it increased by 17 marks to 117.5 and in 2015 that is in last year it increased by 14 marks to 131 so we can approximate that this year's cutoff would be nearly 145 to 147 for open category in the electrical mechanical section now let's analyze the general intelligence topic according to the weightage to your left you can see a table which represents the verbal reasoning section and to your right you can see the table which represents the non-verbal reasoning section by analyzing these two it is clear that the majority of the questions are coming from the verbal reasoning section and in the verbal reasoning section the majority of the questions are coming from the analogy section and the series type of questions so you should be carefully noting down all the relevant sections in the decreasing order of the number of questions and you should be preparing for the examination in that order now let's take a look at the general awareness section the general awareness section will be having many topics like current affairs and other static gk sections like economics history geography general science environment computer science etc now if you analyze this it is clear that the most important topic in the general awareness sections is geography and after that comes general science which comprises of biology physics and chemistry which together forms 16 marks but geography is a single topic that's why i termed it as the most important section so first of all you should go for geography then general science then political science then history economics in that order now let's analyze the mechanical paper if you 
carefully observe all the topics and the weightage in the mechanical section it is clear that the most important topic is the fluid mechanics and machinery section which comes for 30 marks or it will be having 30 questions so the first topic that you should prepare is the fluid mechanics section then you should go for thermal engineering section which is also coming for 30 marks then you should go for the strength of materials and engineering mechanics which is coming for 15 marks then to production engineering which is coming for 10 marks and at last to theory of machines and machine design which altogether comes for 15 marks now let's devise a strategy in order to prepare and succeed in the junior engineering examination so take a look at the last line it represents the mechanical section so as we discussed earlier you should be preparing in this order in order to successfully secure maximum marks for the examination so first of all you should prepare the fluid mechanic section then you should go to the thermal engineering section then to the strength of materials then to production then to theory of machines and at last to machine design so each day you should be preparing one chapter in the general intelligence section first of all finish the verbal reasoning questions then go to non-verbal type then after finishing one chapter in the general intelligence section go to general awareness finish one topic from general awareness then finish one topic from the technical section you should be preparing in this order for all the days to come so how to carefully make a timetable first of all divide the remaining time uh, up until the examination into four equal parts you should be finishing all your topics by three portions and the last section should be for mock test and revision now let's take a look at the important points to keep in mind while preparing for the examination the first one is regarding the risk taking from the previous analysis we know that this year's open category cutoff for the electrical mechanical section will be close to 145 and for the OBC section it will be co uh, close to 130 and for SCST category it will be close to 120 you know which category you are in so you know how much marks you have to secure to clear the preliminary examination so you should attempt minimum that number of questions which could clear you in the examination if all the questions are correct now the second point is regarding time management now we have to attempt 200 questions in a time span of 2 hours that is in 120 minutes which means that you get a time of 36 seconds approximately for each the each of the question now moving on to the next point previous questions ssc has a tendency to ask the repeated questions from the previous question papers so you should go through at least 5 sets of previous question papers now you should do at least 10 mock tests in order to improve your accuracy and to know your strength and your weakness so after attempting these mock tests you can know which questions you have to spend more time and which portions you can get the maximum marks from now regarding the last point which is writing everything down if you are preparing for junior engineering examination the you have to attempt the second paper which is a written examination so while preparing for the examination write everything down if you're studying a formula write it down if you're studying a concept write it down so that everything will be stored in your memory and you will be having a writing practice so when you're attempting the second paper you can do it easily now that's all for today i wish all of you the very best for the upcoming examinations we will be releasing a series of video lectures and the preparation guides for the coming examinations so please subscribe to our channel to get all these videos in your newsfeed thank you so much